Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super pumped to have you here with me today. It is a good day to be here because we're gonna be trying out a new brand that I really haven't heard much about. And I do wanna give a disclaimer that I tried to like um, I tried to film this video yesterday and I was rushing and I just completely effed up everything I was doing so I decided to close that chapter wake up this morning and start fresh so that's why we're here again so we're gonna be trying out the brand Joa it's J-O-A-H I hope that I'm saying that right but I got a bunch of stuff for a full face except for the brow product because they only had ebony and I use soft brown or medium brown or top. That's the colors I use on my eyebrows. And I also did not get the eyeshadow palette because I just feel like we all have so many eyeshadow palettes with a lot of the same colors and until it's something that really blows my mind and is a bunch of different colors that like I've been wanting to try or even if it has maybe even like four colors in it that I don't have, I would buy it you know but I felt like why even show you guys the eyeshadow palette when we really don't need another eyeshadow palette at this time it was very neutral colors and things that we probably have in a million other eyeshadow palettes so we're gonna be trying out everything else for the face except for the brows and the eyeshadow I'm super pumped to be trying this out with you guys. I also got a few other products that we're gonna be tying in today. Like I got um, the LA Colors Contour and Highlight Duo Pen that we're gonna be trying out. I really haven't tried LA Colors too much, so I'm excited to see how that works. I also got the liquid highlighter from them, so we'll see how we feel. And I got this super cute fan, I know super bougie but I love it so that I can dry my stuff so so cute one dollar with all these like cute things the dollar makes it even better by the way and I also found a new um, brand at the dollar store they have everything for a full face so uh, be on the lookout for that video it's called um, actually I'm not gonna tell you guys because I don't want to spoil the surprise so be on the lookout for that and I also have another anti MLM video and a lot of things so we're gonna be going into that as well but for today we're gonna be trying out this brand and let's see how it goes don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that little bell right there so you can get notified of all my future videos it will mean the world to me without further ado let's go ahead and get started so I did get the Glow Activator Primer, and this is a Radiance Primer, and it says inspired by K-Beauty, and that is Kiss. So I'm not sure if, um, and I like that it has a pump, I'm not sure if Kiss is like the mother brand to Joa, or, you know, like I'm not sure how that works. I'll look into it for you guys and then put um, a post on the bottom. So let's try out this. It has like gold sparkle in here and I think that's why it's gonna bring out like radiance. It feels like sil like there's silicone in here from just feeling that on my finger. Um, you know, like it kind of feels like the e.l.f. Poreless Primer, the pink one that I've used on my channel before. Um, that's kind of what it feels like, but this one is a little more, it's like a different consistency, like it's a little bit more like movable because the poreless primer is like a cream consistency. And this one is clear and it's kind of like an oil, but not like, it's not super oily, um, but it's also not like thick like cream either. So I kind of like how that feels. I feel like it's easy to move around the face. Um, I mean, it's saying it's a glow activator, so it's supposed to bring out that natural radiance. 
from your skin. So we will see about that. It feels like it would it would be a like um kind of like blurring primer. That's what it feels like. But uh, I don't know. Excuse my little redness I have here. Don't worry, we're gonna cover that right up. But I mean it is kind of going into my pores a little bit more on this side than this side probably because I have this here so it's interfering but hmm I'm really not seeing much of a glow though to be honest like I feel like my face still looks like normal it's not tacky at all like I'm not really it's not like blowing my mind guys honestly I feel like my face still looks the same as it did before we put it on, which is kind of shitty. Maybe that's why I haven't heard anything about this brand. It's not like, and the prices are like elf and wet and wild prices. So um, I'm comparing it to that. So that's how good I want this to be, like elf and wet and wild. So that's what I'm comparing it to. And I'm really not seeing the glow factor. So let's go ahead and use the L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock Primer so that I can actually get some glow. So, so far guys, the primer, first impression, not worth it for me. Maybe if you're somebody who likes like super, super subtle and pretty much not glowy at all just a little bit like you need maybe you're dry you need a little bit um you know a little bit of glow around your face then that's for you but I have pretty normal skin so it's really not doing it for me I would not purchase again even though it was only four dollars still like okay this is the L'Oreal Glow, Infallible Glow Lock Primer. Do you see that radiance already? Just putting it on, you could see that it's now a little bit shiny. It has that tack. Like this is what I expected it to do. Give me that little bit of lit from within. And that's what I want a primer to do, especially when it's saying a glow activator. Lies. Okay, so cancel that one off the list. All right, so let's just let this dry for a second. Then we're going to go in. Oh, let me use my fan. <laughs> Make sure you close your eyes because then it makes your eyes uh, tear. And then we're going to go in with the foundation. I'm psyched to see how this foundation works. So this is the Truly Yours Natural Finish Foundation Drop. It does say natural finish, but when I tried it out yesterday, before I took it off, it was super, super full coverage. Um, I like that it's a dropper. This is something that you do not need a lot of product, guys. I put way too much product when I put it on yesterday, and it made a mess. So let's put a little bit it's a little bit runny when you pop it out of the um, dropper. I do like that the dropper actually works. But at the same time, you want to be careful because you don't want to put too much on at first. If you think about it, it's kind of like when you use powders. You can always put more, but you can't really take it off. So be very careful. We're going to use the um, Real Techniques Makeup Sponge. I'm just going to wet it with my Wet n Wild Coconut Spray, the primer water. We'll blend this in and we'll see how this looks.
Okay, much better than yesterday. I am already seeing such a difference. I wish I didn't delete it because you would have saw the difference. Yesterday I put so much that it was literally going into my fine lines. It, it made it so thick. It was not cute, guys. This looks awesome. Looks really nice. It's giving me the coverage I need. As you can see, it definitely lightened up the redness I had here. The, it lightened up the redness I have right here. I believe that if I would have used a um, foundation brush and uh, kind of stippled and massaged it into my face with the brush, that it would have covered this completely because it is definitely a medium to full coverage. So let's just, oh. Drop in my sponge now. So let's just take a little bit more, like I'm not even going to squeeze from the pump. I'm going to just take a little like this and see if it can build on top of each other without being too cakey. So just to cover up that little bit. I do like the way it was very, very easy to blend. I like the way that it's very, very easy to blend. Um, it moves around the face very easily. As you can see, I just built on top and it covered up that redness a little bit more. So that is really good. It's not really going into my fine lines at this point. Um, which is good and which I like, but I definitely feel like it still looks like skin. It's not really cakey. So I feel like it's not really going into the fine lines and not being super cakey, which a lot of times when you have like a medium to full coverage foundation, a lot of times it goes right into your fine lines and it looks super cakey and people can tell that you're wearing like a bunch of foundation. And in the summertime, we don't want to look like we're wearing anything, right? We want to look like that our skin is flawless and snatched and we didn't have to put much effort into it. So. This still gives you that natural radiance. It is definitely um, a more, I would say, a satin matte foundation. Like the finish is definitely satin matte. It's not dewy, it's not super matte. So that's why I'm saying satin matte because it still has like that matte look, but also a little bit dewy, especially I guess because we used the glow, um, the glow primer from L'Oreal. Maybe that's why it's giving it more of a satin finish rather than just straight matte. I think that if you use this alone without any primer on it, it would probably be more matte than dewy and glowy like it is now. So I really like this so far. I think it looks beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and try out their um, concealer. And the concealer comes in a tube like this. And again, this is truly yours, is like the line of this concealer and foundation. So this comes in a tube. It has that nice like matte feel to it. Um, the foundation bottle is glass. It's like that cloudy um, kind of bottle. So you want to be careful when traveling with this, um, but it's a heavy, um, a heavy glass. So I think that if you dropped it, it wouldn't break right away, depending how far you dropped it from. But I got the concealer in natural ivory, and this is supposed to be a full cover concealer. And I had gotten the foundation in nude beige, just in case you guys want to know. This has a twist off top, and it has a squeezy as it's applicator, which I like because it's easy to just squeeze out a little bit here. So, spray this a little more. Let's do this.
All right. So I like the way that blended out super easily. You can definitely see where I put the concealer, how it brightened up under the eyes here without giving it like cake face. Um, I feel like it is still full coverage, but it's not like a super, super thick consistency. It is not, it's not thin, but it's not super thick either. Like it's not like the Shape Tape or like the Infallible um, L'Oreal full cover um, concealer. It's a little thinner than that, but you still get that full coverage. As you can see, it covered up any darkness I had underneath here, and it didn't um, make it look cakey or anything like that. I think that it lightly, which is really great. Because a lot of times with full coverage um, concealers, sometimes it's hard to layer them because it makes your face look cakey and sometimes it will dry into your fine lines and it just looks really crepey and gross. So we don't want to look like that, right? And it's literally like so smooth under the eyes. Like it's not going into my fine lines whatsoever. I still, before I set with powder, I always press underneath, even though it, this one is not going into my fine lines. I do that like as a precaution, but it really looks really nice. Like I'll zoom you into the eye so you guys can see. You see how that's not all crepey? These lines are just my natural eye lines. It's not crepe. It's giving you a smooth look, which is really, really beautiful. So, really, really nice. I like this. I did get the Selfie Ready Setting Powder, and I got it in peach. You guys know that I always use yellow um, powders, always. So, I decided to give the peach a chance to see if it really does, um, you know, like cover up that um, the darker circles and things like that. So I love that this top has like a twist so that you can close the powder so it doesn't go all over the place. So this top twists like that. I have powder in there right now though that we're gonna be using. So I'll show you once I move that out. So let's just, oh, before we set, we're gonna go ahead and use the L LA Colors Contour and Highlight Stick. And I like that this comes with an actual um, sharpener on it. So it looks like this. It has light medium. This is the light medium face contour and highlight duo pen. And you see how it has the sharpener on this end. And then we have the darker color on the other end. So we will try this out. Let's see LA color. Ooh, I like the way the pencil is like really easy to draw and move. Just a little tip, guys, if you already have a bridge on your nose, like I do, I have this bridge, you do not have to bring your contour all the way up to your eyebrows. You only do that if you do not have a bridge here already. Mm-hmm. Right. So just like that. It blends really, really easily. As soon as I put my sponge on there, it's like already blending out, which is great. So it's not hard to blend, so that's a plus. It's a really nice, warm color, as you can see. Super nice. So I like that that just gave me a subtle um, contour. See how it darkened up my contour here? 
and on my nose and of course I always go over with my bronzer as well and like bronzer contour but I like this to map out where I want to be and kind of give my face that contour look which I love I think this is really nice and for a dollar amazing it blended out so nice look at that warm brown of course I could have used more you know a little bit more and I could have made it a little bit darker but I do like the color and the amount that I used so far so I think this looks really nice so we're gonna go ahead and set with our selfie ready okay so just pat out and increasing well I do it anyway just in case just so I'm setting what I want to set because once you put this setting powder on your face is not moving girl so you better make sure that your face is exactly how you want it to be because this is what's going to lock it in okay so I'm going to take the peach powder right underneath here this powder is so nice it is so finely milled I really like that so you guys know that I don't bake I just press into the skin to set and give it that matte look Ooh, I think I like this peach it's really like brightening up the under eye it's like xing out the um the dark circles which i really like maybe i should use the peach more often under the eyes and do the yellow around the rest of the face this is nice i have to say i, I really like this powder it's really nice wow this shocked me I didn't think I was gonna like this powder because I never used peach before this is really nice right so we're gonna take it under here as well press into the skin so we can accentuate that contour a little bit better I'm putting the peach wherever I put the concealer, okay? Because I don't want to go over where I put the concealer with the with a darker, you know, like a yellow um a yellow setting powder because then it's going to cancel out the brightness that I want in those areas. So, I'm just setting the middle here where I put the concealer. I'm gonna close this mm -hmm. powder everywhere girls and guys <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna take my covergirl advanced radiance uh, setting powder this is a pressed powder I've been loving this it's a darker um, like a darker color I have it in natural beige 120 and I like this for the rest of the face just to kind of set and I think that it really looks beautiful so I just take a brush I use the BH Cosmetics number two brush from the weekend festival palette I just kind of dip I shake it off and then I will just pat over where I contoured so this stays darker and set over here when you're done, your whole face will look matte, okay? And then I usually just take this, just kind of do circles around, just so I don't have any excess powder anywhere because you guys know that I pat into the skin all the powder should be pressed into the skin at this point but I do like to go over with my brush just in case but as you can see now we have a more matte look 
everything is in everything place. is in place and this is what my face is pretty much going to look like until we put on the bronzer and all that good stuff so let me go ahead and just do my brows quickly I'm gonna do them off camera with the precisely my brow and goof proof um, brow pencil from benefit you guys know my absolute favorite and then I will be right back and we will finish up the eyes Hey guys, so I got my eyebrows done, I finished up my eyelids, and I went ahead and mixed the Be My Everything palette that we're going to be using on our face, but we're going to be mixing this with another um, palette, but I did finish up the eyes with my ride or die. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I absolutely love this palette. This is the Makeup Revolution Jewel Collection um, Deluxe Palette. I use this like almost every day. It's amazing. Like look at these colors. You can see how well used it is. The whole top row is like really shiny um, colors. We got mattes, we got shimmers, like gorgeous. Just you could make any look you want from here. It's amazing. Like, I can't stress it enough how good it is. Like, this was such a simple look. This was just brown and one of those foil golds at the top mixed together, and boom, we got ourselves a makeup look, right? Why not? I also took my hair down because it was kind of annoying me, so I may look a little bit different than the beginning of the video. But... I think this looks better. You can actually see my curls for once. So, yay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try out the eyeliner from Joa. This is the I'm So Fly Liner Ink Pen Eyeliner. And it looks like this. Just black and it's actually in a purple box and it says I'm so fly liner on it it has like a bowl inside to um, you know like move the product around but so far so good guys I'm really really loving this LA colors um, duo pen for contour and highlight oh my god like I just love the way it made my face like so warm I just love the contour it gave me not too much um, like but just enough to go underneath where I'm gonna be putting my bronzer and stuff um, I really am liking this foundation now that it has dried and it is so like it's not heavy it's so thin like it looks gorgeous it's totally a medium to full coverage this powder I'm speechless so let's see if this is as good as the rest was so I'll zoom you in a little the top looks like that so it's a very long applicator so let's see One thing, first impression, that I'm noticing about this, yes, it is nice and pigmented. It looks really nice. It's drying down to a matte. It looks really pretty just going straight across. But with this applicator, it's not giving too much product on the point. Like, I literally have to put my whole, like, put the whole side down. Like, look at just the point barely anything but then when I put the side down then you get some product so I think it's gonna be a little bit difficult to make a wing because you would make your wing with the point so I'm not even going to try and ruin the makeup look by doing a wing so this is iffy for me you know that I'm a wing girl so the fact that I can't make a wing with this probably wouldn't purchase this again just saying okay so I made a really little wing but that's pretty much as good as you're going to get with this so not my favorite and because it's so long it's a really hard to do this way like you have to do this side like this and it's just really awkward with your hand so 
Not my favorite, guys. Let's try out their mascara. This is the ice cream. This is Volume and Curl Mascara. They had about, I think, five different mascaras that you could choose from. I think it's really cute that it says like ice cream, um, you know, instead of ice cream. Uh, so we'll see, I liked the bright yellow. The applicator is super long, just like the, <laughs> just like the um, eyeliner. So let's see how this goes, guys. This mascara, I like the way it is separating my eyelashes, so that's good. It's not like clumping up onto my eyelashes, so that's always a plus. I'm not really seeing the volume yet, though. I'm seeing um, curl, so it's separating them, and it's giving them a little bit of a curl, so... We'll see when we put on a second coat if it does give us some volume, as it says on the package. I don't really see it too much on camera because I have the thick um, eyeliner, but in person, I can see that they're starting to get long. So let's go in for a second coat. Let's see if it makes it clumpy. So it does dry quickly because I felt a little bit of a tugging. Okay, much better. Here we go. Now I'm starting to see some volume. Without the eyeliner, you would have been able to see how much longer this mascara made my eyelashes. It really looks nice. Okay, see that? I think it looks pretty. So we're just going to take this peach um, color icon coal eyeliner from Wet n Wild and this is in the color Calling Your Buff Rose Natural. So we're just going to put this in the waterline. See how that just opened up the eye so much more by putting this light color here? I love that. You can use a white, you can use blue, you can use so many colors, guys. I like to go with light colors because I think they open up the eye. Like if I were to have used like the black there in my waterline, it kind of closes off the eye where this, you could see, really opened up the eyes a lot more. Okay, so I'm not gonna play around with that because it's gonna take up too much time. Let me go ahead and put some mascara on the bottom lashes. I like that. That looks cool. It really like separated them. Looks, it looks nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this face. So we're gonna be using the Joa Be My Everything Powder Contour Palette, and they had light and medium. Now that I'm looking at this, I should have got the medium. For some reason though, it like, looking at the color, it scared me. Like it looked like it was way too dark for some reason, I don't know why. I always get medium and I always get darker bronzers, so, I don't know why it scared me, but I was like, oh my god, no, I can't get that. I got light like an idiot. It comes with a brush, which is so cute. It's like an angled brush, but I'm not going to use that one. This is supposed to be the contour color here, and this is supposed to be the bronzer. You can obviously see this is way, way, way too light for me. So I'm going to go in with this as my bronzer. Let's see, guys. nice okay so it blended super easily look at that it's not patchy whatsoever 
it gave a seamless application. That's really nice. Okay, so I like this. The color is really pretty. It's more on like, it's like bordering cool and warm. Maybe a little bit more on the warmer side, which I like warm bronzers. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I like warm colors. But look at how beautiful. Wow, it's really nice. Let's make this a little bit warmer. There we go, now we got some color coming in, girls. So much better. Imagine we didn't have bronzer. I know, like kill me now. I'm gonna take this brush, just a flat head brush, down that same bronzer and I'm going to just contour the nose over because now that I put powders and things, the um, liquid contour that I did earlier kind of gets covered up. So I like to go over it just to darken it up. And you put a little bit here. If you wanna make your lips look bigger, guys, you take your bronzer and you just outline the lips a little bit outside your normal lip shape. And that's gonna make the illusion of a shadow, which therefore makes your, um, you know, your lips look bigger. So I'm just gonna pat this in. Okay, so we're gonna go in on the CoverGirl Peach Punch Highlight Palette, which I love, I've been loving this. It's so good, it smells like peaches. But we're gonna be using the blush in here. It's so beautiful, it's such a pretty peach. The highlight is gorgeous, it's a peach. The bronzer is beautiful. Like, this is perfect for traveling. It's like one, two, three. And it smells just like peaches, it's amazing. Like, look at that blush, guys. It's so beautiful. Like, you can make it subtle, you can put a little more and make it a little more um, peachy pink. Like, I like that you can play with it. I go over my nose. Okay, so we're gonna be trying out the highlight in here, which is also in the same um, Be My Everything palette. And it's not giving names. It just says highlight, bronze, and contour. So let's see. If we have to, we'll go over this with a different highlight, but let's see. Okay. That's a pretty, it's a very, very subtle. Sorry about my lights, guys. It's very subtle. See, it's just giving, like, just a very pretty lit from within. See, this side has none. This has a little bit. It is beautiful for days that you wanna be a little bit more subtle or for somebody who doesn't like to be super glowy. But for me, you guys know I love to glow. See that, it is beautiful. But watch when I put the peach over it, you're gonna be like, wow. Put a little bit here. See like this is good for like putting on the nose, you know, like going down the nose because it's not like too much and it doesn't like take away from the rest of the makeup. But for me, I really like to glow to the gods. So it's just not doing it for me. So we're gonna just go down this Peach Punch palette and we're gonna put some of this highlight here. Right on top, like look at that. It's gorgeous, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, I love it. Look at that. Do you see the difference now? So like peachy and shiny and just beautiful. You see? This is the kind of highlight Maria likes. But I'm not saying that it's bad if you like a lighter highlight and you like a more lip from within and a calmer highlight. That is perfectly fine, guys. It's perfectly fine. But for me, you guys know I love to glow. So, I'm sorry, I can't help it. All right, I'm gonna just go in the Joa What A Matte, Matte Liquid Lip 
in candy apple. So we can try this baby out. So pretty. What a mint. So beautiful, oh my god. And then I got, where is it? Here it is. I got the lip liner to go with it. And candy red. It's always a good to, like, the way I like to do it sometimes is I like to put the matte lipstick on first, like I just did with the Water Matte by Joa. Love this. And this is also by Joa. This is in Candy Apple. And this one is just in red. But this one's called Lip Candy. But this is so Candy Apple Red. I love it. This is perfect for the summer or even for the fall. Like you can wear this all year round. That's why I like reds. But sometimes I like to put the liquid lip on first and then I go with the um, liner just to keep everything in place. You use the liner so that the red doesn't bleed onto the rest of the skin. So I do that so that I can actually fix my lip. And if I miss anything, I can actually make my lips into the shape I want by putting the liner on second. So it's much easier than trying to like stay in the lines with the bigger applicator that's on the lipstick, right? So let's go ahead and just finish and spray. We're gonna be using the Too Faced Do You setting spray. They did not have any more of the selfie ready um, setting spray by Joa at the CVS. So we're gonna be using this. This is in the watermelon one. So good. This is dewy. I just love the way this makes my highlighter pop. Okay. And just like that, we've got ourselves a finished look. So seriously, with today's first impressions, I am blown away. There were only two things in this full face that I did not like, and that was the primer, the glow activator, because I really didn't see anything happen from this. So even if it was only four bucks, why get something that's not even doing anything, right? So not a fan. And the eyeliner. Yes, for straight line, perfect. And this little wing, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous right now. It's gorgeous. But I love doing wings and this long applicator is gonna be really hard for me. So it's not my favorite. I'm in love with this lippy. It's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I love the way the foundation looks. Like I said before, guys, it's just so light. It definitely is a natural finish foundation. That's what it says on here, and it's gorgeous. It really is a, like, like a satin finish. It's not too matte. It's not too dewy. It's like right in the middle. It's not grabbing onto any dry spots. It literally looks like my skin just enhanced better. So I really, really am digging the foundation. I like the Selfie Ready powder in peach. I think that it looks beautiful. I think it really brightens up my under eyes way more than any of my yellow powders do. So I really, really like this. I think this might be one of my new favorites. I'm going to be continuing to try this to see like how it works over other um, foundations and concealers, things like that. I like this concealer so good. This literally is full coverage. It is not super thick. 
it blends out so easy. I literally put it here in like, you know, in my T-zone and I did this eye last. It was still so easy to blend out. Like it didn't dry super quick. This is really, really good. I think that it's really nice finish as well. Not super matte. It doesn't crease into my lines. It wasn't drying into my fine lines. Nothing like that. Like it really did its job. It looks gorgeous. So I really have to say overall guys, this is a win. And you know I did my eyebrows with Benefit. The Precisely My Brow, my favorite, you know. And the lip liner is really nice as well. Um, it's nice and smooth. Feels just like the Wet n Wild gel liners. So really guys, overall, I think it really was uh, a hit. Like Joa is really doing its thing. There's a few tweaks that need to be done, but pretty damn good. I loved this. You guys know I loved this. I only use the contour side for my, um, you know, like liquid um, contour. Gorgeous. And I do like the Be My Everything palette, the highlight contour and bronze, but I think that I got too light of a color. I should have got the medium, but this is an absolutely gorgeous bronzer. The highlight is a very subtle, like I said before. Um, if you like subtle highlights, then that's for you. Then I would stick with the light palette. Um, but overall, guys, I think that we had a bunch of wins today. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for my next video. We're going to be going in on an anti MLM. Shh. I got some knowledge to share with you guys. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. I love you guys very much. Thanks for tuning in and have a good day. I love you. Bye.